Hello. The United Communities of Canada have decided to create a committee to boost uh, our team at the Olympics in Beijing. I think this is a very exciting affair, and I have no doubt, neither do you, that our team of Canadians from all over Canada will not only do well, but will be very successful. And certainly, we wish them the very best. I know they will represent our flag, they will represent our country, and they will represent our democracy very well. So we wish them the very best. And we only hope that they will bring back some medals, whether gold or silver or bronze. <laughs> We'd be happy if they bring back any kind of medals. In any case, what about the United uh, Communities of Canada and the whole position that have to, has to do with the controversy that uh, right now is in Beijing and it's, the, it's what's called the boycott of the diplomats? I want to remind everyone, everyone who's listening to, uh, to this communique, that the original spirit of the Olympics, what was the original goal? What were they trying to achieve? in 776 in Greece, 776 before Christ. Imagine that they began the, the Olympics in Greece. What was their major application? What were they trying to achieve? What was their goal, as I said just earlier? The goal was to bring together a whole bunch of persons who were good in a certain sport, because health was very important to the Athenians and to the Spartans and to the Corinthians and to all these city-states that they had in Greece, for that matter. All these city-states, many of them, did not get along with each other. They disliked each other. And so, by, in a way, by competing, they tried to determine who was the very best. But as the games proceeded for more than 300 years, a new idea was beginning to see the dawn of day. A new idea was beginning to percolate. Bring these people together, and even though we may not like each other because we have different alliances and we have different strengths and different weaknesses as city-states in Greece, but bring them together and they'll find out as a family of humanity, they'll find out that the person from this city or that city or the third city is just as good, is just a good human being. And as they were coming together, they created new families, they created friendship, and not only that, but they decided to play at fair. Fair games. Fairness was one of the important part of the spirit of the Olympics, which we very, very much need today. So there's a certain goodness involved. So we want to remind you, from all of us at the United Communities of Canada, and as you know, I'm Tony Ruprecht, the former Minister for Citizenship and Multiculturalism. And for this perfect uh, interview, uh, we, I do have the, uh, the, uh, the privilege to flesh out our position. But the whole idea would be, while we're thinking about boycotts and while we're thinking about how we dislike some things that we do and that we don't do, the whole idea would be, let's come together in peace. Let's come together as brothers and sisters. Let's come together from various parts all over the globe. Let's come together as different races. Let's come together as different colors. Let's come together as a multicultural community all over the world and show the world in this case, of course, Beijing, show the world that we are together as a family of humanity. And that, my friends, is one of the most important items and the spirit of the Olympics. We need international peace. And what's the best way to achieve that? Through the Olympics. Let the Olympics begin and let the Olympics show above all else, whoever wins, whoever loses, let it be a showcase of humanity coming together in peace, in brotherhood, and in a way that we internationally get to live with each other, get to get to know each other better, and that we are a whole community, family of nations. Thank you very much, and I hope uh, you will enjoy the show that's called the Winter Olympics in Beijing.